Okay guys, I just want to share something really strange I just noticed when visiting builder.blender.org, link is in the description, because there are the experimental builds and alongside the 2.93 beta and the blender 3.0 alpha version, there's a 3.0 studio alpha version. And that's really strange. I was curious and I downloaded it. So um, I tried to unzip this zip file and then I it asked me for a password. So I was thinking about giving up there but I just tried out this hash hex thing there that's in between studio and windows 64 and um, when i typed that in it worked it unzipped me this uh, file so i don't know how bad this was just secured but i'm sure they will secure it properly when it's out finally so I opened studio alpha up it confirms it right up there it's a studio alpha version and at the first view nothing seemed to be different but then in the add-ons I noticed there were pre-installed add-ons that are paid like kid ops or the keen tools face builder so it might even come subscription based and it might be really expensive because who knows keen tools face builder it's a very expensive tool there was also a trial version of grass vault and something they might pay make this pay thing work is via blender cloud because the blender cloud add-on is pre-installed so that's a bit mysterious i'd really like to know what blender is planning there there's no official statement yet i'd like to hear what their plans are or I just tell you this was all an April Fool's joke. You've just fallen for a joke. Obviously Blender is going to be free forever. And if you want to know how I created the illusion of a Blender Studio Alpha version. The uh, behind the scenes footage is going to be published in the next few days on my Patreon. So check that out and have a nice day.